Hello everyone, this is Jomar Hilario and you are about to learn how you can get constant cash from online content marketing. That is if you are happy with the sound quality. Are you? Are you happy with the sound quality? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's start. Who here came here to just learn? Not gonna apply anything. I'm just going to learn. You just you just want to know for information purposes only. Maybe one day I will apply what I will learn. But not not tomorrow, not next week. Okay? Who here came with a no goal of applying anything you will learn tonight within the next uh, 7 days? You have no goal of, of applying anything. You just want to uh, be here and because it's fun. And um, not only is it fun, it's very fun. I, no goals in applying what you will learn. You can be honest. There is no cost to honesty. Just be honest. Hello, hello. Any anybody here first timers? You guys are first timers. Can you tell us if you're first timer? Would be great to know if you guys are first timers. First timer Reynaldo, hello. Okay. Sino pa ang first timer? Lana. Okay. So Nikki, the backup is at Justin TV. In case you're looking for the backup, it's still at justin.tv slash Jomar Hilario. That's the place to go if if it's not, uh, the audio is not good for you. Go to justin.tv at jomarhilario.com for the backup of the live broadcast. Broadcast pa rin ba tawag dito? Hindi naman broad masyado. So here's the backup I'm sending to everyone. Okay, so... Let's go talk about you, uh, your answers. So here it is. So Manix, are you here for the mind mapping? Wala po si Manix. Normally we have Manix to do the mind mapping. Oh, he's here. Very good. Very good. Okay, mamaya maya i-on kita pag uh, ano, maalala ko. Paalala mo sa akin para if you find me rambling, like talking and there's no visuals, then please tell me so I can just activate you para may visuals. Okay, thank you very much. So, let's go discuss this topic. But before we do that, do you remember the ending to the movie Aladdin? When uh, the genie was set free by Aladdin and his, his last wish was, you're free, genie. Anybody remember this film? This film is copyrighted by Disney Incorporated. I do not own the copyright. Nor do I claim that this film is mine, or even this photo. However, just to jog your memories, here's a picture from that film. Reminder, buy original DVDs and watch Disney Junior. So in the end, if you are going to review this movie, at the very end, the genie did something at the end of that movie. After he says, okay, you're free. So he hit some post, ting, 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 parang pinball machine. And then, and then he did something. Can anybody think carefully and remember what did the genie do? His response to being free was what? Come on, try to rewind it. And if you're really smart, you're going to open YouTube and find out what he did. 
Yes, please. Yes, please. So important to everyone to remember the ending of this movie. And Anna Margalita Olar got it. But how about the rest of you? Do you remember what the genie attempted to do when he was set free? By the way, if you don't know, this is the same question I'm going to ask you tonight. If you have just given up on, on, on this one, on, on guessing the ending of Aladdin, Nath, got it? Si Nath at saka si Anna, nakuha nila. If you've given up on guessing, try to prepare your answer to the same question. Prepare your answer to the same question. And we're not joking here. This is pure serious stuff. I want to know your answer to the same question. Okay, the answer is he started packing and started getting his stuff into a suitcase okay then he took his goofy hat let me see goofy said disney he wore it and then he says i'm gonna go see the world sabi ni nagbakasyon ata siya go on vacation he went for a vacation actually the actual term was he's going to see the world sabi niya ganon so ito yung tanong ko sa inyo the genie was caught up in that, in that, uh, what's that thing? Lamp for millions of years, and he said he's going to see the world. Yan yung kanyang goal. He was so happy. He said he's gonna see the world. Nagdress na siya ng Hawaiian shirt and the goofy hat, and that was his first response to freedom. So my question for everyone here is, what is your first response to freedom? If you were the genie. What would you do? If you were a genie, a million years in the, in that thing, the lamp, and you're now set free, what would be the first thing specifically would you do? Come on, answer. Answer in the chat room. Answer in the questions box. What is the specific thing you will do? Now, a lot of people are not familiar with the word specific. So let's uh let's do a little uh, Google, okay, so, this, so we we can be clear about what what we mean by specific. So ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng specific thing that you will do? Specific, clearly defined or identified. It should be clearly defined or identified. It should be clearly defined or identified. So the question is. What is that specific thing you will do? Clearly defined or clearly identified. If you were the genie, okay? And here are some of the answers, okay? Write my novel. I think if your answer is not specific, I will not repeat it. If your answer is not specific, I won't I won't read it. I will go on a cruise. I will watch a lot of movies. I will go to a Bible journey in Israel, go to Japan. Okay, a lot of you don't know how, what specific means, which is really, 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 really something you need to fix. Here's specific. Go to Silicon Valley. Okay, I didn't mention the, word, the ones that are not specific. So take a hint, guys. Try again. Attend Oscar Awards, that's specific. Go to Macau, build my own house, join Bo Sanchez in the Holy Land, go to Eiffel Tower, go to Switzerland. Try again, guys. Specific. Specific. What is specific? Clearly defined or identified. Go to Seoul. Try again, guys. What is specific? Go to the province and be with my family. That's specific. 
the Disneyland. Pupunta siya sa Congressional na Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Pag na-free daw siya. Okay, maganda yon. Pupunta siya sa simbahan pag na-free daw siya. Genie siya. Puto Machu Picchu. Bring everyone to Disneyland. Buy a Fortuner. That's specific. Go to Rome, see the Pope. Go to Universal Studios. Go to St. Peter's Square. Are you you realize you're just imitating what the pe what the genie is talking about, right? How about you? I'm not talking about the genie. How about you? What's specific? Go on a cruise ship. Remember, you are the genie. You've been set free for a million after a million years. And you're gonna go to Europe. Are you sure that's what you wanna do? Are you sure that is the first thing you will do? You climb Mount Everest. That's specific. So make sure you're sure that you, this is what you're going to do. Because uh, we're not here to imitate the genie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the genie wants to go see the world. But you don't have to see the world. Because you are not the genie. You are Steve genie. You're Doreen genie. You're Rowena genie. You're Cindy genie. You're Joe genie. You're the different genie. Okay? Make my own short film. That's a good specific thing. Looks personal too. Go to a hot spring. That's specific. Well, actually, hindi siya masyadong clear kasi hindi mo alam saan hot spring. So, let's move on. Okay. Can you answer the question, why are you really here? Just say it in the uh, chat room questions. Why are you really here? And uh, just answer it. If you're unhappy with the question, don't answer it. <laughs> if you are capable of answering this question, answer it. Just answer honestly. Yeah, there are wrong questions, but this is not a wrong and right. This is not a time for wrong and right. This is just me asking you directly, why are you here? Somebody was asked to be here. Nice answer. To learn more, to be encouraged, to earn big online. Income improvement knowledge. Nice, oh. Curious how I can maximize my cyber potential. Oh, so, sino na? Chot. Okay, so this is, these are the your reasons here. None of them, none of you are saying anything about traveling now. <laughs> Just notice that. Just notice the fact that earlier I asking you what you're going to do if you're set free as a genie. You want to travel now? None of you are saying anything about traveling. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I am not judging the answers. I am just telling you to be aware of how strange it is. Okay? Tin mo sagot ni Mirna from Zamboanga. I'm here to learn how I can make VA business to give jobs to students back home who needs to finish. Who needs, who needs a job to finish college. Okay? Okay? You're gonna give them a job because you want them to finish college. Great. Okay. How to become an online entrepreneur. Okay. So you're really here. And one of them said, uh, Juan de la Cruz. Very nice name. I'm here because I was curious about the title of the webinar. Okay. So I'm not finished with my questions. Next one would be, um, what brings you to tears to do? Like, if only you would do this all the time. But you can't to the point na nahiya ka na. What would this that thing that you wish you would be able to do all the time, but it brings you to tears because you can't do it? Okay? What is that thing that brings you to tears to do because you can't do it? Ayusin natin. Because you can't do it all the time. Ay, patanggal. Huh? 
Gusto mo siyang gawin. Pero naiiyak ka kasi you can't do it all the time. What brings you to tears to do because you can't do it all the time? What brings you... I think yung question ko para mas maganda. We're gonna take some time here. What thing you love to do... Ayan, nakaklear ko lang ha. To do... But it brings you to tears because you can't do it all the time. Yan. Ganda na ba? What thing you love to do brings you to tears because you can't do it all the time. Okay, take your time in answering this question. I'll probably sip some tea while I'm waiting for your answers. What thing you love to do brings you to tears because you can't do it all the time. Try 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 reading it again. Try reading it again and try answering it again. This is not a joke, ha? Seriously nyo. Seriously nyo to. At least for the very first time in your life. At least makakapagsagot man lang kayo ng seryosong tanong. Very important. You, 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 leave, you leave the jokes to mga hindi naman funny na Filipino shows or American comedies. But tonight, don't joke this out. Don't joke this question out. If there's anything important about tonight, it's this question. Again, it has to be a specific thing. Do you know what the specific thing is? If I point to it, I'll know it is the thing you mean. If I've showed you a picture of it, it will be you say yes, that's it. So it has to be a specific thing. That's why we went and we went all the way to tell you what specific means. Give me a specific answer. This is much yeah, if, if you're trying, if you're thinking mahirap yung tanong, congratulations. Mahirap talaga yung tanong. It's, it is hard. It wasn't designed to be easy. It's okay if you find it hard. Go answer. You have to be in tears because you can't do it all the time. So I'm only, only gonna I'm only gonna read those na to me personally I find convincing because um in iba kasi parang hindi convincing. Kasi na it's my judgment call if I don't read your stuff because I don't find it your it's not specific enough or your I I don't feel your heart is in it. Your heart should be in it. So let me start reading. Dance hip hop because my health won't allow me to do it anymore. That's one. Go to movie dates with my hubby because I can't do it all the time because he is working far from home. Buy a house and lot in Q Crescent City area for my family. Bonding with my kids who are now growing up. Help poor kids finish school, especially those who I teach in our dance ministry. Hug my daughter who is in Australia.
to celebrate birthdays and fam family occasions because with my family because I'm in another country. Give my mom nice things. It tears my heart apart when she asks for something and I can't give it to her. Here's another one that a lot of you would be able to relate. I would love to, re I would like to relax, but I can't because there's a lot to do with so little time. Okay. Okay, the most important part of the statement, this question, uh, is the tears part. Tears. It's the tears part. Because this will, this will, uh, this is one of the most important forces on the planet. Force. Can you type the word force? So thank you for those who answered honestly uh, in the webinar. Because if you define your specific answer to this question, you would have... Be, you would have uh, an edge over everybody else who did not take this question seriously or are unable to find out what drives them to tears because this is a force that can bring you to your goal. And if your goal is to earn online and not be busy, because that's, that's those are two different things. You can, be, you can be earning online and be busy, right, Anna? No? Or you can earn online and not be busy. Or have a balance in your life so those of you who don't know the answer to this start asking this question from yourself and you can do that by writing down this exact question every morning can you type morning type write it down every morning and then ask yourself the same question over and over again so pa ulit ulit mo isusulat tong tanong na to. what specific thing i love to do which brings me to tears because i can't do it all the time and every morning you write this down, and I don't mean text it to yourself. I mean write it on a piece on a notebook, and then write down your answer to the question every morning. It, it will help you figure out the driving force why you should be wealthy, why you should be earning from the internet. So, Mar, bakit ang lalim yan? Because unlike get rich quick scams, no, <laughs> earning money from the internet is persistence. Kailangan malaki yung persistence mo. If your persistence is really, really low, you have no force to do anything online, then you're not going to get the high 40,000 peso a month no, income from the internet, for example. That's, by the way, that's not high. That's what I'm saying is you need a driving force. And this question helps you identify the driving force. And this question is not answerable in one day. You need several months or probably several years to answer this question. And it has to be answered by you, not your, not anybody else. You cannot use the genie's answer. I want to see the world. Because if it don't drive you to tears to see the world, there's no point. Okay? So let's move on. Okay. So let's uh, restart with a quote from Will Smith. If you want to see the video of this Will Smith, you just go to my Facebook account. Anybody know where my Facebook account is? So the video of Will Smith talking about this, para sigurado kayong siya nagsabi, is found in my Facebook. I'm sending it to you. The only, and Will Smith said, the only thing I see that is distinctly different about me is that I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be outworked, period. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be sexier than me. You might be all those things you've got it on me in nine categories but if we get on a treadmill together there's two things you're getting off first or i'm going to die it's really that simple right so this is an interview this is not from a book this is an interview done uh, from by will smith and you can find the actual interview in my facebook 
in case you're kind of doubtful na sinabi ba talaga yan ni Will Smith. So I I put the video in in my Facebook. Now, I I brought that out because it's super important that aside from putting your pushing yourself to tears, no? Like you know I said kanina in figuring out what you want to do. Yan, yan. In I think ano kay Will Smith. You need to get this lesson from Will Smith. And that lesson is called hustling. Hustling or yung ginamit na word ni Will Smith is not actually hustling. He used the word um, outworking everyone else. <laughs> outworking everyone else. To be able to do more than is what people expect you to do. Do more than you what you expect to do. Just be the hard worker for that goal, for your own goal. Okay, yan yung lesson from from Will Smith. Okay, so if you are afraid of the what's ahead, the lesson I'm about to teach because ay talaga marami palang work yan. Then that's reality. Okay, that's reality. That's why you need that first question: What makes what drives you to tears? Na hindi mo magawa ngayon. At because with that dri driving force, you can go and proceed with the hard work that Will Smith is talking about, and not notice the hard work. You won't notice it because you're setting yourself with your eye on the goal. Your goal is to be able to do that, which drives you to tears, because you can't do it every day or right now. Say you ready now. Say ready. Yes, I'm ready. Say so more. Yes, I'm ready. If you're ready. With our lesson for the day. Okay, good. So here it is. I think. Oh, before I say that, um, let me just give you some announcements. Unahin ko announcement. There's a about the Facebook contest, the free mentoring. Now, diba, I have a Facebook contest running in my Facebook page, and that's this is not the Facebook page. The Facebook page is Jomar Hilario Philippines Virtual Assistant something something. Virtual Assistant Guru. Okay, so that's the Facebook page. I am running a contest, and to win in that contest, you must upload the picture. You must upload the picture. And uh, the picture has to have, have to satisfy some specific rules. And then after that, um, you have to get people to vote on it. The person with the highest vote wins. Okay? The person with the highest vote wins. So this is uh, my Facebook page, Jomar Hilario Dash Philippines Vir Virtual Assistant Guru. And this is where you find the contest there. Now, announcement. Announcement regarding the contest. Here is it. Passion to Lifestyle Photo Contest under my Jomer Hilario Philippines Girl Assistant Guru. So, let's go to the announcement. Okay. Announcing. We are extending the contest one more week. But we will not resume immediately. We will resume next week. Because we learned something new, which is really good. Because we learn, then you learn. Okay, so we're gonna extend it, but we're not gonna resume it immediately. We're gonna resume it after one week. Of course, the answer is bakit. So, for those of you know who just found out about it, then it gives you one week, actually two weeks to prepare. Now, why did we extend it? It's very easy. Uh, we are removing the cheaters, <laughs> the people who didn't follow instructions, <laughs> because there are people who cheated in the contest, and we're getting rid getting rid of it them. Okay, uh, would you want us to remove the cheaters? Yeah, is it okay that we extend it because we want to remove the cheaters? Of course. So we're. It's taking a long time to remove them. There's a lot of cheating happening, okay? There's a lot of cheating happening. And we're going to remove them. So we're going to take one week to remove them. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we can actually see every entry that you entered and every person who voted for you. We can see them. So if you created a fake account to vote for your 
photo is we see it. Okay? We see the fake account. How do we know it's a fake account? It's obvious. There are certain rules to find out what the fake account is. Okay? Okay, so we will not reveal to you guys who's the, you know, who's the fake faker and stuff like that. Because if once we're sure you're a, you're, you're, you cheat, you're actually going to remove you. You won't see us in Facebook anymore. Okay? We'll remove all your memberships in all our sites if you cheated in this contest. So I'm sorry. If you're Pasaway, so we're just simply going to remove your entry and your presence in, in our Facebook. Okay? And we're going to go into round two. Round two is we're going to present to you who you're going to vote for. And then we're also going to vote internally. Okay? So the votes is not going to be 100% external, but there's going to be internal votes now in round two. Now, you can thank the cheaters who inspired this round two because we simply cannot base it on that number of votes because there are people who did cheat. Okay? <laughs> so anyone striving to run a Facebook contest, learn from this because now you know. Okay, now you know. Now, there, you, you must get into round two. You must use internal votes because there are people who will cheat. And some of the cheats you will not be able to detect. Okay? So let's move on. So um, I, I'm, I have some learnings for you guys, okay? Learnings. If I, I, I saw the top one, the person who should have won. I saw him. I saw his account. And he invited a lot of people to join the contest. A lot of people. However, to join the contest, you must follow the instructions. If you're if the people who joined, they just uploaded a picture and they didn't even follow the instructions, we're just going to delete that entry. And of course, we're going to delete the votes. Because you're supposed to get five votes for each entry ng tao na encourage mo mag join. But if that person didn't seriously join, and that's obvious because ang entry niya, photo lang, wala siyang description ng photo, and didn't follow the instructions. So, essentially, your vote goes down. Because we can't award you five points. Because the person who joined the contest didn't even read the instructions. no, So, he didn't really join the contest. Uh, Pabara-bara lang sila. It's, it's like cheating. Pero alam mong it's sinasadya. Kasi ang dami nila. <laughs> Ganun sila lahat. <laughs> okay, so congratulations. Thank you very much, cheaters, for helping us figure things out. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So let me define the statement in the title. What is constant cash? Constant cash. Oh, guys, I'm moving away from the Facebook contest right now. So go join the Facebook contest once we open it after one week. But I'm not. Go I'm now going to discuss uh, content marketing and constant cash. You, you guys okay? Okay, constant cash is to be able to receive money directly from the internet, whether you sell something physical or not. But today's topic has nothing to do with physical products. It's everything to do with digital created online products. So constant cash, getting you cash immediately into your, well, it's not really immediate. It's more of a regular, regular, hindi immediate cash, constant cash. Every month you receive something. Every month you receive something. Ganyan. Okay? So that's my definition of constant cash. Moving on. What is the definition of content marketing? Because a lot of you people don't know what it is. So content marketing is actually another word for inter internet marketing. Another word for inbound marketing. Another word for blogging. Okay? It's just one of those new words. And let me proceed. So. So since content marketing is essentially another word for blogging, this is not strict definition. I'm just making it things easy for you. What is blogging? Blogging is writing interesting essays. When everybody just say blogging, blogging must be interesting. Let's go ahead and type that in. So I'm sure I'm getting through to you. Blogging must be interesting. Okay, good. So if you've created a blog post that's not interesting to the readers, then uh, you're not blogging. Okay, so let's do a sample. Say you want to sell coffee or you don't want to sell coffee. You want to 
you want to sell a guide to making coffee at home, for example. Okay, Bayon? If you sell coffee, then you have a physical product that you have to sell, right? Now, you sell a guide to coffee making at home for, for let's say, slimming. Alam you slimming? Kapapayat. Making coffee for slimming. Now, would that be interesting to coffee addicts who want to become thinner? Yes or no? You want to sell a guide to making coffee at home for slimming, for, for fitness. Not just, not just making coffee at home. Making coffee so that you become thinner. Okay? I'm going to change that for slimming. Okay. So I, I think this would be interesting to people who want to lose weight and are still addicted to coffee. Now, this is your goal. You think you want to sell coffee or a guide to coffee making at home for slimmers. Now, um, your first thing you need to do is to create a blog with many blog posts. Does, does anyone, does everybody know what a blog post is? You know what a blog post is? Yeah? A blog with many blog posts. So a blog contains blog posts. So, so get on, okay? Now, so lots of blog posts. Now, those blog posts talk about something else. Now, if you don't know what a blog post is, yan ang laman ng blog. Ano ba yung blog? Essays. So pag sinabi kong maraming blog posts, maraming, ano sagot? Pag sinabi kong maraming blog posts, maraming blank writing contest. Maraming ano? Maraming ano? Lalo na yung nagsabi hindi niya alam kung ano yung blog post. Pag sinabi kong maraming blog posts, maraming, I need to see the person who says he doesn't know what a blog post is. Come on, come on, come on. Ay, mali ang sagot. <laughs> okay lang. Okay, just to be very, very clear, ha? Hindi ibig sabihin maraming topics. <laughs> maraming essay. <laughs> maraming essay. <laughs> Nakasabi ko lang sa inyo, eh. What is blogging? <laughs> Ulitin natin. Blogging is writing interesting essays. <laughs> So, pag maraming blog post, maraming interesting essays. Yeah? A blog post is one essay. Two blog posts, children. Two essays. Three blog posts, three essays. Maraming interesting na ganun. Normally, it, ang iniisip natin is going to be uh, around the, the subject of slimming with coffee. Tama, di ba? Slimming with coffee. Now, before you even think about what you're going to write about, okay? We're now into content marketing, by the way, okay? And the reason why we're doing this content marketing, which is blogging, actually, is because we want to sell this guide. We want to sell coffee, okay? Now, before you even think about blogging, that's gagawa ka ng blog mo, right? You must remember yung sinabi ni Yoda. Ano yung sinabi ni Yoda? Hanapin natin sa internet para masaya. May sinabi si Yoda eh. Ilala nyo si Yoda. Yoda. I'm sorry. Yoda said something about something. And everybody needs to remember what he said. Okay? Sa Star Wars. Star Wars. May sinabi si Yoda na sobrang importante na ang dami-dami nagpo-quote sa kanya. Do you remember what he said? Sabi niya, do or do not, there is no try. Okay? Yeah, he also said fear is the path to the dark side. We don't need that. We need yung quote ni Yoda na sa Star Wars, do or do not, there is no try. Alam niyo ba kung bakit niyo kailangan tandaan yan? Kasi mali yan. <laughs> Pakisulat nga, mali si Yoda. Okay, mali si Yoda. When you start content marketing, you cannot follow Yoda. Sabi niya, eh, gawin mo yan. Okay? Kasi, when you start this thing, you have to try. You have to try. You have to start by making your first mistake, your second mistake, your third mistake, your fourth mistake. You know what I mean? Lalo na sa larangan ng, ng online marketing. 
kailangan mong mag-try. And you must expect that your first blog post is really, really bad. Followed by a really, really bad second blog post and your really, really bad third blog post. Now, we're talking about that because akala nyo you're, you're going to write the blog post or the essay for your blog. In reality, hindi lang. To be able to spread your message to many, many different people, you cannot just write in your own blog. You need to what? Guess the words. You need to what? You need to bring your blog post to other people so they can see your blog post. And that thing is called, what is the answer? So more people will read your essays. You need to what? Great blogging. <laughs> Pwede na rin, great blogging. <laughs> You need to what? Uh, guess again, guys. You know, it's great blogging. You have to write for other blog, uh, blogs. Lalo na yung mga hindi kilalang blogs. Meron na sila mga 200 readers. Kanyan. So, not only are you writing for yourself, you have to guest blog in other blogs. Okay, so that this is part of the strategy that we're following in content marketing. You create essays for your own website, and then you create essays separately for I know for other blogs. Ang, te- ang trial 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 mo talaga yung testing testing lang would be the blogs that you create for yourself. Now, yun yung try, yun yung try. Pag medyo sanay ka na maggawa ng mga pangit na blog post, nasa pwede na to, pwede na to. Pwede na tong ilagay sa iba. Pwede ka na mag-start mag-write or mag-hire ng writer. Let me ask you, can you hire writers? Hindi mo naman kailangan maging writer when you're selling online. Can you hire writers? Yes or no? You should try. Diba sabi ni Yoda? Try! Yeah. Go hire a writer and make that, ask that writer to write guest blog posts. Guest blog posts are not written in your blog. They are written for another person's blog. Hopefully, uh, the person na merong mas magandang readership, meaning marami nagbabasa. Meaning ikaw, wala nagbabasa ng blog mo, siya 200 or 20 nagbabasa ng blog niya. Pwede na yun. Then, you'll either write yourself or you can hire a person to write for you. Okay. That way, spread yung message mo sa internet because the readers of the blog na pinagpaguran niya yung blog na yun, will be able to see your article. And it has to be like an interesting article. And yes, Christelle, it's going to be under your name. When you are guest writing, and when you're hiring a writer, that writer will write the article under your name. Kaya ang gagawin mo, babasahin mo na lang. Tapos kung happy ka, di, you pay the person normally. Okay? The easiest place to get guest writers would be, of course, Fiverr when you want to pay for them. Or there's another website I forgot. Ano nga yung website where you can hire guest, guest bloggers? Alam niyo yan eh, mga authority ROI. Nakalimutan ko na. You can hire guest bloggers uh, to write for you. Pero you have to pay them kasi you're going to be owning the site. Uh, you're going to be owning the the content or the... the. Di pala pwede yun. Di pwede yun, Jasmine. Kailangan kasi you pay them for writing for you kasi ilalagay mo yung pangalan mo dun sa sinulat nila. So you have to pay them. Okay? Tandaan nyo. Either you write yourself or you hire people to write for you sa Fiverr. Let me just go to Fiverr para alam niyo for article ang writing dito sa Fiverr. And then, instead of them writing their name under the article, you they write your name. That's why you need to pay them for about $5. Okay. So, yes, exactly, Gladys. Ghostwriter ang style dyan. If you don't want to do the writing yourself, you hire ghostwriters in Fiverr. Okay? So, meron dito writing. Tapos pwede silang mag-write for you. Website content. Ayan. So, for those of you na sabi ko, sino ba dito ang serious? Sino ba dito ang I just want to know? Yung mga serious, no? Ito, mag-hire kayo ng writer dito sa, sa Fiverr. Kaya Fiverr, limang dollars lang. So, kayang-kaya nyo naman, ano? Magbayad ng five dollars per article. And since sabi ni Yoda, try, madini sinabi Yoda, ang recommendation lang naman, one article a week. One article a week. So, kaya niya yan. One article a week is $5, around 1,000 pesos a month. Kung mag four articles a month, a month ka, um, get somebody to write for you. To begin with. To begin with. So, 
lulubos-lubosin na natin yung computation, 12,000 pesos a year hiring a writer. If, of course, you don't want to do the writing, you can always do the writing. Either you pay 12,000 pesos for uh, the entire year, four articles a week, uh, four articles a month, or you just write it yourself, or you hire a virtual assistant na Filipino to, hire for, to, uh, no, to write for you. Whatever happens, you just need somebody to write for you. Okay, moving on. Now, here's a question that we're going to answer today. What's going to be the topic of the blog? Because whether you, you know it or not, this is a very, very important question. Just like the question of the tears, this is your second most important question for today. What's going to be the, going to be the topic of the blog? Most of you will answer the word, Siyempre tungkol sa coffee, siyempre tungkol sa slimming, siyempre tungkol sa coffee making. Tama ba? If you're going to be selling coffee, or a coffee, ano yan? Coffee making for weight loss. What should be the topic of the blog? Can anyone guess? Aside from the sinabi kong, siyempre tungkol sa slimming, siyempre tungkol sa coffee making, siyempre tungkol sa weight loss, siyempre tungkol sa coffee, what else should be the topic of the blog? Can you guess? Health and fitness, health, the results, the benefits of taking coffee, health benefits, anything under the sun, good answer shot, coffee mania, coffee for weight loss, healthy slimming, health, okay. We're going to try to answer that the entire time. Now, let me move on. Okay. The answer I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be about the product. Okay. The articles that the writer or you will write is not going to be about the product. Okay. So, since we're on the topic of product, no? And and you, I'm got. Bibitinin ko yung tanong ha. What should be the topic of the product? I'm going to show you now what products are selling online. Would you want to know the top things that people pay for for information online? The top information products that are selling that does not include how to make money online. I got rid of that. What kind of products anyone here? can sell, well, and the, sorry, what kind of information products? Pag sinabing information product, recording, essays, ebooks, audio, video, those are information products. They're not physical. You can download them. What kind of downloadable products are selling online? Do you want to know? So, binitin ko yung tanong kanina because I want you guys to know Now we're not just going to be hypothetical here. Na, ay, ano? Um, you're selling coffee, so what are you going to blog about? Okay? Do you want to know the top selling inform uh, downloadable products that are selling right now that has nothing to do with making money from the internet? Clear ba? Clear ba? Actually, this is the point of why you're here. Okay? You want to know? And remember the, what, what the word we defined earlier? What was that? The word we defined was... What was that word? Specific. I'm going to give you specific. Specific, specific, specific. Because pag sinabi ko sa inyo yung general, walang maintindihan. So let's do this. Okay? Ready? Say yes, I'm ready. What are the top selling downloadable products on the planet? Take notes. We're on. First one, anything related to weddings. Anything related to weddings. Number two, he said, she said, I said, the seven keys, sabi siya specific to relationship success. This is the top selling book in Kindle. Relationships, communication. And I'm not talking about relationship lang. Relationship communications. This is the top selling ebook in Kindle. Take a look at the title of these ebooks Smart Cooking for Busy People. How to make healthy and tasty full meals in 30 minutes. You can't get any more specific than this. Quick and light. 
healthy recipes you'll fall in love with. One is health, one is healthy, and it's for busy people. Take note. St stop saying general words. This is very specific. I did not say relationship. I said this is couple communication. Yep. Couple communication. This is healthy recipes, busy people recipes. Another one. Organizing your home to make it spotless. <coughs> Excuse me. Another one. Herbal first aid. Herbal first aid. Number one. Kina mo itong mabuti yung gano'ng specific ha. These are the top selling Kindle ebooks. It's very specific. Juicing for weight loss and healthy living. Did you understand that you can sell this? Juicing for weight loss? Goodness. Next. 50 fitness tips to lose weight and stay in shape. Next. So, yung bilis. 925 ideas to save money, get out of debt, retire a millionaire. Next, 100 easy camping recipes. Camping, hindi lang basta recipes, hindi food. Easy camping recipes. Next, up how, how to know, always know what to say. This is a communication, how to talk to anyone kind of thing. Next, do-it-yourself energy experiments. This is parang the secret that prove your thoughts create your realities. Energy experiments. Weird, right? Next, coconut flour recipes. At this point, I would like to pause and give tribute to the coconut flour recipes. Would you even think that coconut flour would be a bestseller in the downloadable information space in the internet. And, I, and I'm not talking about ebooks. I'm not talking about Kindle. I'm talking about the topic itself. Isipin mo mabuti. You're thinking about selling coffee when ang uso pala sa internet, nakikita niyo yung trend ko ano yung topics? Nakikita niyo yung trend ko ano topics? That's why I'm showing you a lot of examples because I want you to see the trend. Or the, the, or the pattern. What are the popular topics that sell online? Coconut flour recipes. Okay, let me just continue. 31 healthiest banana-based frozen desserts. <laughs> Most delicious, fast, easy to, easy to make, smooth frozen desserts with bananas. What do you think about that? Are you doing the right thing? Are you selling the right things in the internet? According to this list, maybe not. Next, container gardening. A beginner's guide to planting a vegetable and herb garden without a backyard. Wow. Next, 100 ways to exercise without noticing. Hmm. Are you getting the trend? Anong uso sa internet na yon? Next, inspirational guide to discovering what hope is and have, how to have more of it in your life. Have a little hope. Next. Small business tax deduction sheet secrets. Hmm. Interesting. Small business tax deduction secrets. Okay. For accountants, huh? Not like my mother. Become a sane parent after growing up in a crazy family. Not like my mother. Become a sane parent after growing up in a crazy family. Parenting rebelliousness. Okay. Whore is another one. Now, this is taken from another website. And this is the top selling of all time. Last week, 273 people earned money from this, from selling it. The Tao of Badass Dating Advice. This is a dating advice ebook. Okay? This is a dating advice ebook. Dating advice ebook. This is the top number one selling thing in online uh, online uh, ebooks another one the fat loss factor what do you mean what do you think that means 300 people earned money from this last week okay customize fat loss and kick butt cellulite redux 
You getting this? This is from another website. Capture his heart and make him love you forever. What do you think? Ano ba yan? Capture his heart and make him love you forever. Okay. The muscle maximizer. Mm -hmm. And uh, anti-aging foods. So this is like an ebook of anti-aging foods. Okay. Another one. Take your ex back. Kunin mo yung ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend mo. I actually know who made this. <laughs> Okay. Trick photography and special effects ebook. Next. Vision without glasses. Next. And here are the comp here are the non-specific topics. So I think I'm done with the list, but before we end that list of the top selling topics that you can sell. Uh, on the internet. Here are the general idea. This is the general um, topics. Ngayon, if you are going to sell something the internet, I just gave you like the top 20 different things, things you can sell na related. And I'm telling you not to think in terms of this list. Oh, I'm going to sell an education product. I'm going to talk about employment and jobs. No. You can't do that. Do it that way. You have to go very specific. Like you went to you went to health and fitness. You just make a herbal first aid book, a herbal first aid blog, or a weddings blog, okay, or a coconut flour recipe website. You know what I mean? That's how you gain from this world of specifics. The internet, kasi masyadong malaki yung internet. But if you don't go specific. You won't be discovered by people. Okay? Now, let's moving on. Ito pa! Top Candida Yeast Infection Cure. And Top Pregnancy Infertility bro uh, pre Pregnancy Miracle. Infertility is also a big thing. And Removal of Acne, also a big thing sa internet. Okay. So that's, uh, that's the list of topics I've got for today. And I'm not going to go into specifics on technical words i just gave you a list let's go back to our original question so the question was can you remember the original question so what if you decide to go into any one of these topics okay what if you decide to go to any one of these topics what if lang what if lang now you will go into this topic because of your goal and your goal would be to earn money because you want to do that thing that you want to do, but you can't do it, that you are so naiiyak ka na dahil di mo magawa. So you're going to go into a topic that I just gave earlier. Any one of those topics or anything related to that topics, okay? So I gave you a, a, a bunch of topics, a bunch of information examples of information products that are being sold today na kumikita ng malaki sa internet now question was it clear kasi a lot of you would say ano yon ano yung listahan na yon baka hindi niyo naintindihan i need to understand tell me what that list was tell me what that list was especially first timer sa online marketing ano yung listahan na yun Jomar do you understand what those lists represent I need you to say in a complete sentence to you what is the value of that list I gave you because when I was starting in online marketing nobody gave me that list nobody gave me that list and I know you need that list but if you don't then tell me I mean I really want to understand if you do need that list or you don't need that list because that was the point that you were here. Um, I'm going to give you two minutes to answer. Figure out if you understand what that list was about. Personally to you, anong significance ng list na yun? Personally to you. To you, personally. Don't answer like topical na parang nasa school tayo, no? Personally, that list is what? Yan. Sige. I will leave you guys, take a break for two minutes, and I hope to come back with your answer. Type in. Go.
na wala ang sound, iniiwanan ko kayo para sumagot kayo dun sa tanong. Hindi ako nagsasalita. Okay, so you're looking at the the mind map Manix is doing while we're doing the webinar. So Manix, papakita mo nga sa kanila yung list na malaki, yung mahabang list. So most of you got it. What why that list is important? Some of you got it in a bigger way, but I'm very very thankful na there's a lot of the of you who got what the list means, no? Okay, uh, let me just address some fears regarding this list. Some fears na hindi naman nasa state. Kasi maraming fears na hindi nasasabi. Pero nandun pa rin. Now, these are top selling topics. You can, in, you can simply do the same thing. You can simply create a blog about that topic. Exactly it. Herbal first aid. Juicing for weight loss. Yeah. Uh, one of the fears na hindi stated is, uh, I'm sure marami nang gumawa ng juicing for weight loss na blog. Yeah, you're sure? You're not sure. You just guessed. Uh, and it doesn't matter kung marami nang gumawa ng juicing for weight loss. Hindi naman ikaw yun eh. Okay? So if you're looking for a topic na pagkakakitaan sa internet, na sure, ayan na yung topic ko. Oh. Ayan na. Ayan na yung actual topic. Ayan na yung actual topic. Proven na yan. At least this week. Na kumikita. Proven na yan. Okay? Yan na yung actual topic. Ano yung katawa dyan? Um, let's say you pick one and it's like, in my in my instance, I, I said, ang example ko, coffee. Diba? So, mamaya natin sasagutin yung coffee before we end. Now, I'm gonna pick one. Anybody wanna, first answer. Sino pili kayo na isang topic? Come on. From the list na binigay ko. Pili kayo isang topic. One, one, come on, pick one. The first answer, I will use that. Banana, very good. Banana frozen desserts. So here's the, we're now going to answer the question, what's going to be the topic of the blog? What's going to be the topic of the blog? Okay. So, pagtitripan natin yung banana frozen desserts. And the question that I've been asking kanina pa was, what's going to be the topic of the blog? I'm going to tell you what's going to be the topic of the blog. Then we're going to answer the coffee question kanina. The topic of the blog is not going to be banana frozen desserts because that's the product. Tama? It's not going to be banana frozen desserts. Let's go back to the... I'm going to look for the slide. Ano yung talagang pangalan ng banana frozen desserts? Kasi hindi lang yung basta-basta yun. It's a very long topic. Where is that? Ayan, ayan. Sabi niya, is the 31 healthiest banana frozen-based frozen desserts. Most delicious, fast, easy to make, smooth frozen desserts. The actual title is 31 healthiest banana-based, excuse me, 31 healthiest banana-based frozen desserts. Did you notice what it really is? Was it really about banana? Was it really about banana? It's 31 healthiest banana-based frozen desserts. Yun ang title ng ebook. So, was it was it, what was it really about? It's really about. So let me just ask some questions before we go finish this topic. 31 healthiest is the title. Who would wanna buy this? Who would wanna buy this? Come on, give me your answers. Give, give me your answers. Who's gonna buy this ebook or this book or this uh, thing, this DVD or what? This tutorial, this 
this um uh, ano ba siya? video on 31 healthiest banana desserts who's the buyer and uh, the incorrect answer is everybody so hindi pwedeng everybody little babies are not going to buy this ebook i'm sure little babies okay health conscious people ang majority na sagot mothers baby boomers not a, not the right answer sorry people na favorite ang banana those who want to lose weight health buffs nutritionists cancer patient nice answer fitness enthusiasts teens Pakisulat na lang manix yung mga sagot. Okay. So I already said yung mga ano, yung mga sagot, no. Most of the answers are uh, health conscious people. So yun ang lagay mo, health conscious people. Yun ang pinakamalaking uh, answer. Now, I need everyone to pay attention to the next question. Say ready if you're ready. Cancer patients and sickly people also very good. Okay? Okay, ready. The, the most crucial question for the evening, the second most, the first one is about your tears. The second most crucial question is who influences your buyer? Who influences your buyer? So, then, then your buyer, diba? Who is the Number one influence, number two influence, number three influence of your buyer. Who is your number one influence? Who is the number, who are the top ten influencers of your buyer? And go ahead, answer na, answer na. You have to be specific again. We talked about how to answer. And answering is very specific. All right. Who influences your buyer? By the way, when I say influence, I mean regarding yung topic. Yung, yung pagiging health conscious niya. Of course, sasabihin nyo artista, pero shampoo yun. Halimbawa. We're not talking about shampoo. We're talking about yung specific people who influence them on the health thing. On the health thing. Okay? Guys, specific. Alam nyo, marami kang yayaman sa inyo pag marunong kayo mag-isip ng specific. Everybody is not an answer. The media is not an answer. <laughs> when it comes to health-conscious things, who are the top 10 influencers of your buyers? Come on, specific, specific! Huwag nyo sasabihin sa akin mass media, hindi specific yun. Come on. When it comes to health-conscious things, who are the top 10 influencers of your buyers? O konti pa lang, ha? Oh, si Ana Reyes. Tama ba ang sagot? Mali. Si Maricel Olieres answered correctly. Fitness gurus. Pakisagot. Lagay sa mind map. Fitness gurus. Babasahin ko lang yung tama. Top 10 influencers of your buyers for the banana, which is health-conscious, Top 10 influencer, fitness guru, number one. Number two, gym instructors. No? Kino pa? Number three, nutritionist. Pwede, pero hindi ako naniniwala you talk to nutritionists. Do, do any one of you here talk to nutritionists? I don't. Sino pa? Dietitian, that's also a doctor. Sino pa? Family doctors, sino pa? Pagiging health conscious mo, sino pa, sino pa nag-influence sa'yo pagiging health conscious mo? Other cancer, cancer patient survivors. Tama? Other, if you're cancer, pa, cancer patient survivors, it's other cancer patient survivors. If you have a health coach, yes. Diba? Gym buddies. Yeah. Well, actually, that's not true because you don't really talk to gym buddies. Do you talk to gym buddies? Yeah, gym buddies, but tama. Kung kaibigan mo na gym buddy, yeah. So that's it. I just answered the ans. I just ans uh, read the actual answers. Na that made sense, no? Top influencers for your buyers are fitness gurus, gym instructors, other cancer co cancer patient survivors, uh, family doctors, 
Dayan Castilejos. That's very specific. <laughs> Can you put in Dayan Castilejos? Pwede eh. Pwede eh. Dayan Castilejos. Mirna, super comedy. I love your answer. By the way, Mirna is from Zamboanga. Dayan Castilejos. <laughs> That's an answer. Hindi celebrity endorsers. Kasi kung si Ann Curtis in-endorse ka on fitness, probably you won't believe. Or si si uh, si Nanette Inventor who's really, really healthy, no? Okay? So very, very Diane Castilleos at D-Y-A-N. Very specific yan. Okay, so in answer to your question, D-Y-A-N. The blog, can you answer the question now before we end this? The blog is going to be about what? What do you think? It's going to be about Diane Castillejos. <laughs> the blog is, oh, is going to be about what? Come on, tell me, tell me. The blog is going to be about, ayan na, hindi na nila naintindihan. <laughs> Sinagot ko na eh. Sinagot ko na eh. Ipakita mo sa kanila yung influencers para maalam nila yung sagot. Chot says, it's about the influencers. Kulang. The blog is going to be about the what? Okay. So so essentially parang si Chot pa lang nakakakuha ng malapit lang pero hindi exactly. It's going to be stories ng influencers. Pwede. Pwede sto- Sabi ni Joyce, it's going to be stories ng influencers. Sabi ni Junar, the blog will mention the name of influencers, not really. But it, it they will, pero not really, not not enough. Not complete. Sabi ni Cindy, influencers, no. Activities of the influencers, uh, not really. Health tips from from the influencers, uh, pwede, not really. <laughs> Suggested things from the influencers. <laughs> Influ- <laughs> uh, influencers talking about the health benefits of banana, no. <laughs> what influencers like, influencers like to do, pwede. How to be like the influencers? No. Uh, <laughs> Sabi niya, give up. The diet of influencers, recommendations of influencers, tips from the influencers, his testimonials of personal experiences, essay on... Yes, it's an essay on the influencers, but what's it going to be about? This is this is the topic of the entire blog. All day long, ito lang maging laman ng blog. Testimonials by influencers. Di mo kakilala eh. Hindi mo kilala yung influencers eh. Nagawa kang testimonials. Give up? Sirit? Gusto sino umuwi? Sino gusto umuwi? <laughs> How to influence your bias. <laughs> sino nag enjoy sa paghuhula? How to enjoy doing it? <laughs> so ano, tutuloy ba natin? Hindi ko sasagot. I can answer your question by in two ways. I can answer it now or I can answer it in the next webinar. I know, I'll give you one week to decide. I'll give you one week to figure out Bye. what <laughs> what is going to be the topic of the blog. And I'm going to ask my VAs ko ano decision. Decision. Shall I answer it now or shall I answer it next week? VAs? VAs ko magsasabi. Hindi kayo. <laughs> aba, aba, votation. Nikki, ano sagot mo? Nikki, ano sagot mo? Come on, isipin nyo naman. Halos binhinain ko na sa inyo. Sinain ko yung topic. Hinain ko yung, yung, yung mindset. Hinain ko yung dahilan. Ba't nyo dapat gawin to? Ala si Nikki? Ay, sorry, hindi ko nakita yung sagot ni Nikki. Sandali. Ito ang clincher, ang sagot ni Nikki. Ay, wala na si Nikki. Natutulog. Si Manix, si Manix. Okay, I will, I will uh, give you the final answer.
next week <laughs> i will ask you to use your brains and figure out i i almost gave you the answer pero hindi niyo pa rin nakukuha figure it out if you figure it out you own it if you own it you will not forget it walang sagot si Nikki pero may na dalawang sagot it magkaiba silang sagot isa yes isa no so malalaman yung sagot next week so stay tuned to the next week sa webinar next week next on Monday and I will give you the continuation of this lesson okay which is next week we will award Sabi ni Nikki, ito sagot. Next week, we will award five instant votes if mag-join sila sa online mentoring club contest. <laughs> so, sabi ni Nikki, ulitin ko ah. Sabi ni Jasmine, next week. Sabi ni Daniel, Daniel, this week. Today, sabi ni Nikki, next week, we w- she's encouraging you to join the online mentoring club, ah, sorry, the, the contest sa Facebook. Okay? And... <laughs> I'll see you next week. Kaya nyo na yan. I almost gave you all of it na. Okay? Ayan na oh. Ayan na yung laman ng vlog. Then we're going to answer the question. If you're selling coffee or a guide to use coffee for slimming, ano dapat ang magiging topic? So you can break that down in the coming seven days. Isipin nyo sino yung, sino yung bibili, sino yung influencers ng bibili, at ano magiging topic ng vlog. Okay? And next week we're gonna draw. We're gonna start uh, the con- restart the contest, okay? And if you want a copy of the beautiful, beautiful mind map, where do you go? Where do you think you should go to get the mind map? Uh, uh, here's the mind map. You go to the Jomar Hilario Mastery Group, okay? Niki, kaya mo isend to all? Hindi ko kayo i-email ng mind map. Kamote kayo. <laughs> Isa-isa yung go kayo. Pumunta kayo sa ano, Jomar Hilario Mastery Group. Doon yung makukuha yung kopya ng mind map. Okay? So, where is that? That's a Facebook group. I'm going to show you show it to you right now. Okay? And ta- overtime na kasi, dapat ano eh. Dapat kanina pa ako tapos. <laughs> so, mabuti na rin na next week para mas madiscuss pa ng mas maganda. ba diba? So, here it is. Please go to this place. Donk. And go get the mind map there. It's not going to be available, ano, immediately ah. You wait for Manix to finish it. And mag-thank you naman kayo kasi libre yan. Okay? So this is the Jomar Hilario mind map. Somebody is selling. If you know what happens if somebody sells in the Jomar Hilario uh, mastery group? Instance removal. Okay. <laughs> so here's the Jomar Hilario group. Just join it and um, eventually Manix will give you the copy of the mind map there. Okay? So thank you for joining. Please encourage all your other friends na sabi mo, galit ako ngayon. Bitin kami. Next week, Stay there and we'll answer the question. What's going to be the topic of the blog that will sell your products? Or even other other people's products. Pero ikaw yung gagawa ng blog. Okay? I'll see you next week. And once we reopen the contest any day now, go join it. And let's see if you can get the online mentoring club for free. That's 22,000 pesos value. Huh? It's, it's a one, 12-month mentoring. And for those of you who are here because gusto nyo palang matuto ng pagiging virtual assistant, uh, you have a few days left. We are almost at the end of that virtual assistant seminar 3.0. And it's going to be in August 17. August 17. And we're going to have a lot of fun learning how to join, how to become a virtual assistant. Okay? Para mag-earn na kayo ng partial abang kayo ay part-timer, okay? And to go there, there's going to be live mock interviews. We're going to send the first video out. Before you attend the seminar, we're going to send you a video about it first para, ano, uh, para, you know, 
meron kayong information about the seminar before you even attend it. And we're going to give you a recorded interview with an American client para ganito pala ang pakiramdam ng pag mga ng puti. And that's gonna be Dan Murphy. And if you get the premium, you will get a recording of the previous March semin- uh, VA seminar. Kasi merong premium, merong regular seats. The premium seats, you get a recording of the March seminar. So with this August seminar is not a repeat of the March seminar. There's a lot of modifications and a lot of workshops that's going to happen in the VA seminar on August 17. So to join the VA seminar, just go to filipinavda.com. If you are two of you there, merong discount yung second person. So don't try to get come into pairs if you want to become a virtual assistant in 30 days. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. I'm teaching you online marketing and how to make money from the internet. At the same time, I hope you appreciate all the stuff that we're doing. And if not, then tell us so we can improve. Okay, so those who want to become virtual assistants and get a part-time job, go follow filipinava.com. Those who want to learn the secrets of online marketing, be here next week. And invite your friends. Okay. Thank you for joining. Please use the time between now and next week to figure out the answer. Okay. Bye.